Pro Vice Chancellor of Flexible Learning and Director of the Centre of Flexible Learning, Professor Som Naidu, uh, Team Leader Executive Office, the Fiji Higher Education Fiji Commission, Mr. Rapelli Wawalai, Visiting Fulbright uh, Specialist, University of Pittsburgh, um, Professor Keith Roberts, who I saw just came in, and, uh, and uh, Dean FSTE, and uh, members of staff, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome, and Nissan Buller. Uh, let me say straight away that uh, obviously you were expecting the Vice Chancellor this morning. Vice Chancellor, send his apologies. He's, uh, he's actually got some problems with his, with his tooth this morning, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, so he's having to sort that out. But he, he, um, he sent his best wishes uh, for the meeting, and, uh, and he has a, a tremendous commitment to the area of open education, and I know many of you involved here will be very aware of the Vice Chance Chancellor's um, championing of um, this area of open education and the support he's given. So he is uh, so sorry not to be here, but he does send his very best wishes to the to the meeting and the forum. So the um, I mean the purpose of this forum, the purpose of the forum is to celebrate the global open education movement and its impact on learning and teaching. It's to showcase and share stakeholder progress on open education initiatives and activities. It's to discuss opportunities to enhance open education use and application, and to enhance open education networks. Open education is about access to educational opportunities. It's fundamentally about access to educational opportunities. The practice of open learning and engagement with open scholarship. Open access to learning is about inclusive and equal uh, access to educational opportunities without barriers. Um, such as the barriers such as the prior knowledge and entry qualifications, or in particular the, entry, the ability to pay. It's about breaking down those sorts of barriers to provide a greater access, greater opportunities for inclusion in education and the opportunities that follow from education. At the operational level, this means not just equal, but equitable access for those who experience disadvantages. Um, it provides educational opportunities, and it breaks down and helps to overcome the barriers to those opportunities. Open learning is about the ability to study and learn at any time, anywhere, and at any pace, irrespective of one's physical location or condition. Open scholarship involves engagement with a culture of sharing which incorporates the release of educational resources under an open license scheme that permits no-cost access and permissions to adopt, adapt, retain and redistribute such resources openly and freely. While while the case for access to educational opportunity and approaches to various modes of open learning are now widely recognised and accepted, the case for engagement with open scholarship is somewhat misunderstood and not entirely clear at all. This forum is designed to help shed light on the ethical and moral issues surrounding engagement with open educational practices the implications of those practices for the roles, responsibilities, and commitments of universities, as well as other educational institutions in society, and the framing of a values-driven and future-proofed curriculum. Education is a public good, and I'm sure everybody in this room would agree with that, that education is a public good. For without education, there is no real freedom to be able to make informed decisions, to take advantage of learning opportunities, and to make meaningful choices that impact our daily lives. Education can be the greatest leveller, for it affords us the wherewithal to be able to compete equitably. And without being able to compete openly and fairly, there can be no real social justice in the world. So the more widely and openly accessible education is, the better are our chances for meeting our goals and aspirations. The adoption 
of open educational practices is integral to meeting this agenda. It includes access to learning opportunities anytime, anywhere, and at any pace, as well as the release of educational resources at no cost to the user and with the permissions for adaptation to local conditions. Apart from um, pre uh, preconditions on open act, uh, educational um, resources and learning opportunities, such as MOOCs, uh, sorry, um, MOOCs are not inherently any different from any other educational resource or practice. And educational resources and learning opportunities, however open and flexible, will not by themselves ensure a high quality learning experience. So regardless of the hype around the, the case for all things open and cost-free, open educational resources and MOOCs will not save the day for us. So what will save the day for us? Well, I think to ensure a high quality learning experience. It is the effective and efficient integration of open educational practices as well as open educational resources in the design of productive pedagogies and learning experiences for all our students. So I welcome everybody to this really important forum and I'm sure the discussions today and the uh, talks that will, uh, the program uh, that you will uh, have today will stimulate um, discussion, will stimulate thinking and really contribute in a significant way to the uh, development of our thinking and our practice around open education. So thank you very much and vanaka vakalelu.